guys, do you own a Nissan and maybe your battery's dead and you want to tow it and you can't get it out of part because your battery's dead? Well, I'm about to show you how you get it out of part when you have a dead battery. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Papa's Place. As always, if this is your first time here, thanks for dropping in. Feel free to drop in anytime you feel, my friend. Guys, today I'm going to show y'all something that I come across, and I've owned this vehicle here for several years. It's a 2006 model Nissan Frontier, and I know this is the same setup on several models, and probably in a lot of your Nissan cars also. But I had a little incident where my battery was dead, had no juice at all. Actually, I done a video on replacing the battery fuse because it had blown. Well, I was going to tow my vehicle that day. Well, lo and behold, when you ain't got no battery power or can get battery to it, you can't take it out of park. Well, there's a way to bypass that. It's real simple, and I'm going to get you all in there and show you. It's going to be quick and simple. Now, guys, like I was saying, this is going to be quick and simple. But you know your vehicle, to put it in, get it out of park. You got to put your brake, foot on the brake, push your button, have your key on to get it out of gear. But when you don't have no battery power, it don't mind if the key's on, your foot's on the brake, you must push the button there, don't nothing happen. You can't get it. It's locked, it's locked in park. So, therefore, you can't be towed. Well, I didn't know this. I actually researched this. And it tells you right there, it says shift lock. But you gotta take your little screwdriver or your pocket knife or something and pop that little cover out of there. And all you gotta do is push down on that. See if I can do it with one hand here. All right, I got the screwdriver wedged down in there now. Put your foot on the brake, hold that button down, and then you can put it in the neutral, and you can tow your vehicle. That's how simple it is. Now, I'm sure you read the books on your vehicles when you buy them. It tells you that in there. But who's going to remember stuff like that? If you own something several years, then all of a sudden, you're in an emergency situation, that just don't come back to mind. Not to my mind anyway. But guys, that's how simple it is. And like I said, I'm sure that's on other model vehicles beside the Frontier pickup. And it may be on different makes and models as far as different brands of vehicles. I don't know. It's the first time I experienced it. And I thought I'd share that with y'all in case some of you out there Googling and trying to figure up, trying to figure out how to get your truck out of park so you can tow it. But again, I hope that helps some of you out. I hope y'all have a great day and a great week. God bless. See y'all next time.